Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm just going to explore a little bit about hand and foot contact in Character Creator. So this is a new feature with 1.5. It's fairly simple, but I'm going to show you a couple of scenarios where you may need to adjust it. So right here on the screen we have our uh, personal outfit uh, uh, swimsuit girl here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give her a special pose that I have prepared on my desktop for hand contact. Alright, so let's explore a little bit about hand contact first. I'm going to give her this pose. And you can see she's, you know, um, kind of kneeling on the ground and the hand should be contacting the uh, um, terrain or the, or the ground or whatever you want to call it. Now you can press Control G to turn your grid on and off and when you have it on you can tell it's easier to kind of notice where the contact is making place. You can go below the grid and you can sometimes see you know uh, the hand poking through there. So if I select my character and I select hand contact she's going to basically be hand uh, contacting the ground with her hand. She's not going to be going below it which is fine and we can also use foot contact as well which we'll talk about a little bit later on. But let's take a look at this. Uh, you can see she's kind of a little bit off the ground there with her hand. Now this is fine. Generally what you want to do with hand contact is you want to make the uh, palm, the heel of the hand, um, touch the ground. With the hands, uh, with the fingers rather, you can always do something like this. If I press the N hotkey, that's going to give me uh, some pose, uh, open up my pose editing tool here and I can just, you know, kind of relax my uh, fingers like that. So as long as the, the heel of your hand is kind of uh, touching the ground, then generally that's kind of what you want to do. And we can also use, um, you can see her knee is below the ground there, we can probably uh, take that up there as well. Um, but you can see that if we, uh, you know, take our character with hand contact, we take her chest and we kind of move it down like that, you can see that's where the contact is taking place. And you can see that the palm is, the heel of the hand is going a little bit through the uh, ground. So we want to try to avoid that. So what we can do is let's go ahead and just uh, select adjust contact points. That's going to reset our character to a T pose, which is fine. And let's take a look at the contact points right here. You can see they're a little bit above the uh, heel of the hand there. So what I can do is over here under hand floor contact setup, I can just lower that down a little bit right there. And that's fine and dandy. Now you can press the F hotkey to get a, a front view. You can press the G hotkey to, to get a direct overhead view. And this is helpful for looking at this view um, for your hands. So if I wanted to, uh, there's uh, height, middle, inside. The middle is like the middle uh, indicators there, middle uh, selectors. And inside is the inside of the hand like this. You can probably move that a little bit closer in. Outside is the outside just like that. And the front, you can probably move that one in a little bit as well. And that should be fine. And then there's the back one as well, so we can probably take that uh, up to about there. So just refining it a little bit, and then you can uh, take that off. And let's give her that uh, pose again. Go to our desktop and uh, bring in that uh, cool-looking hand pose. And we'll just uh, move down to here. And you can see now that's where our uh, hand is making contact on the heel of the hand. And if we, again, press the N hotkey, we can take our character's chest and move it down just like that. And now, you know, She's, uh, the palm of the hand is making contact with the ground. And we can just you know, relax those fingers like this as well. All right, so that looks a lot more natural than it did before and uh, more accurate. We'll ignore the knee for now, but I just kind of want to show you the, uh, the hand contact right there. Now, if you apply a morph to your character, that, that's another situation where you may encounter changes in the hand, uh, hand and foot contact. Uh, I'm going to go to morphs here. I'm going to go to body. I'm going to use one of uh, Tokomotion's uh, morphs here uh, for the bunny character. And notice when we do that, the hand, uh, the knee especially, but the hand, we'll ignore the knee for now, it just kind of elongates the character. Uh, but notice the hand contact is obviously uh, changed quite a bit. Now the hand is sinking through the, uh, uh, the ground right there. So what we want to do again is go to the adjust contact points and we'll go up and find our character's hand. And you can see now that, uh, you know, because the hand is thinner, um, the uh, indicators have been placed a little bit higher, kind of trying to, trying to find a, an average there. So we can just take that height down for the hand, probably about, uh, I think we'll just go to that point. Um, if I find somewhere in between there, maybe 2.5 or 2.2 uh, maybe. There we go. Just to make it a bit more accurate and uh, then we can go ahead and uh, apply that pose one more time, hand contact pose into character creator. And just zoom down on our character. And now you can see the hand contact is in the correct position. And with those hands, I can press the N hotkey again, just relax it. And there we get a more natural 
uh, hand contact solution right there. And again, ignore the knee that's kind of jutting through there. Unfortunately, no knee contact yet. But that's another uh, situation where you may need to adjust the hand contact and everything like that. So let's go ahead and bring our character back to a regular uh, T-pose right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some uh, high heels to her. All right, so let's just go to our clothing over here to uh, shoes. And let's just apply a good old pair of uh, high heels. So once the high heels are applied, let's take a look at the actual heels right here. And the contact seems to look just fine. Now, if we go back to our morphs right here and uh, go to body again, let's take down bunny. And you can see there's a little bit of, you know, stuff that's below the, uh, the ground plane right here. Um, we'll adjust that a little bit later. Just wanted to throw this in there quickly as well. If you do come across a situation like this where the mesh is breaking through the ground plane because you added some new shoes or you adjusted the character's morph, you can go ahead and try the auto calculate contact points. And normally when you do that, that will resolve the situation. You can see everything is uh, fixed right there. But say, for example, I wanted to, you know, add another morph. Let's go to this slim uh, slider right here. Notice when I do that, the front of the character, so this is exaggerating the feet mesh again, the front of these shoes go further deep, and the rear end of the shoes, the heels, um, are elevated off the uh, ground. So this can create a problem, but I'll show you a quick and easy way to fix this. It includes a little bit of mesh editing, but uh, we'll go ahead and work with that. Uh, so what I'm going to do now again is go back to settings, adjust contact points, and we're, still, we're already in the T pose. It looks like we need to adjust this a little bit so we can move it to the side right there. And we can take the uh, middle section, make sure that's on the other end of the uh, front part of the shoe there. And the uh, back, we'll just uh, take that back a little bit right here. And I think we're good from above as well. You can see we can uh, probably expand the inside or whatever, but we're not going to worry about that. We're going to worry mostly about this kind of situation right here. So also what I want to do is bring them down a little bit. So let's change that height to something a little bit lower. And that should be good right there. Maybe 16.9 or something to get a nice, um, as accurate as possible. But then you can see, of course, those heels are elevated off the ground. So that's okay. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've had to readjust the feet contact points. But what we can do for the feet is, thankfully, we have the edit mesh mode. So we can go to select edit mesh. And what I'm going to do is just kind of stretch those heels downwards. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to make sure I have back face selection selected. And I'm going to select one of the heels. I'm going to select, you know, like uh, this section right here. And you can see that will select the front and the back and everything. And then what I'm going to do, press the W, uh, or not press the W hockey yet, we're going to mirror it, mirror selected. And that's going to mirror to the exact uh, opposite foot. And now we have them both selected. And then we can press the W hotkey. And we can just, you know, stretch them down to uh, make contact with the floor. So, boom, just like that. And now we have perfectly fine high heels for our character Slim and making correct foot contact. And you can see very slim indeed. We'll probably want to re reconform that uh, um, top there again. But if we take our character again in the end pose, and, or rather in, in hotkey in the pose editing tool and take it down like that, you can see... There we go. All right, so we have, you know, foot contact is all good. And that's really about all I wanted to show you, just a couple of different scenarios where you may need to adjust uh, foot and hand contact. Um, I'm going to select this bathing suit and just uh, calculate collision and recalculate it there. Uh, yeah, I just want to show you a couple examples of, you know, how you can uh, adjust hand and foot contact and what scenarios you need to do that. So uh, thanks so much for watching. A really quick tutorial. Uh, make sure you check out our forums at forum.realusion.com and I'll see you in the next video.